in my mind, harissa needs no introduction whatsoever, but if you don't know what it is, it's a chili paste or chili sauce, depends on where you are in North Africa. It's really flavorful, it adds so much to your food, it doesn't overpower it, it has a nice kick to it, and it's really famous. Actually, harissa was on Star Wars, except they called it Arissa and they made it to be some sort of spicy meatballs, which is horrible because if you film it in Tunisia, you should get Harissa right. But that's the prequels and that is a low bar. Um, yeah, let's make it. This might come as a surprise to you, but the most important part about making Harissa is to keep your sensitive bits safe. And by sensitive bits, I mean your hands, eyes and nose. So make sure, whenever you're handling the chilies, to wear gloves. The basic math is 25% chilies, 75% red peppers. I'm using 100 grams or 3.4 ounces of chilies and 300 grams or 10.5 ounces of red peppers. The chilies are for, of course, the spice. The red peppers are to balance it with some sweetness and some texture. Cut all the stems and slice the peppers and the chilies in half. I'm keeping the seeds of the chilies so that the harissa has a nice kick. If you want a mild harissa, remove all the seeds from the chilies and it won't be a harissa without a strong garlicky taste so break chop off the tips and clean a head of garlic one thing that will help you deal with how tedious cleaning a head of garlic is xanax excellent for frustration lay all the peppers and chilies on an oven tray throw in the garlic one and a half tablespoons of kosher salt. Coat everything with a generous amount of olive oil. Preheat your oven to 200 Celsius or 390 Fahrenheit. Cook for 35 to 40 minutes. After 35 minutes, if you see some bits becoming too dark, take the tray out. While the peppers are in the oven, throw two teaspoons of cumin seeds and two teaspoons of coriander seeds into a pan, crank up the heat to high, cook until they start turning dark, and start to release their oils. You might also start hearing some pops. Transfer immediately, while still hot, into a grinder. Grind until they are fine. Make sure you get all that powder. Don't leave anything for the dishwasher. Hear that beautiful sizzle and me suffocating in the background. So yeah, make sure that your window is cracked open and stay away from the tray until it cools down. Remove as much skin as possible. You might not be able to get everything out, but that's okay. Even if some remained in the harissa, it, it won't really change the taste. Throw away all the skin, but save everything else, like literally every scrap of oil and salt. Transfer into a food processor, add six tablespoons of lemon juice, add the spices, two tablespoons of vinegar, four tablespoons of tomato paste, blend it just enough so that all the ingredients break down, but not until it's creamy. You still want to have some small chunks of peppers in there. The lemon gives it that fresh taste, while the combination of tomato paste and vinegar will cool down the spiciness and give it more of a tangy flavor. Put your harissa in a jar and store it in the fridge for up to four weeks. And that's it, we made harissa. If you are in the market for recipes where you can use harissa, cut in half two big eggplants, score the flesh of each half with deep crisscross scores, making sure not to pierce the skin. Drizzle some olive oil over each half, but make sure the oil sips in. Some fresh cracked salt and throw it in a preheated oven on 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. Once it's done, scoop out the flesh without damaging the skin. Transfer into a pot. Drizzle one teaspoon of olive oil, add half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of coriander, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one heaped tablespoon of our fresh harissa, and one teaspoon of chopped parsley. Mix very well. 
Cook on medium high heat to drain any extra moisture and serve on the skin of two halves. Garnish with some Greek yogurt to balance out the harissa. Fresh mint. A squeeze of lemon juice. Fresh cracked pepper. And enjoy! And that was it. The whole process from beginning to end takes less than an hour. So I really hope you can make this at home. I can guarantee you it would make your food taste better as a side or in the food. Um, as usual, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And I'll leave you all the ingredients right below this video. And I'll see you next time. Eat some harissa. Take care.